you're probably getting destroyed by Van BK and FC24. But that's because you probably don't have Make Your Mark Trent Alexander Arnold. Or is it true? Because today we'll be finding out if this card is wondrous, mid, or doo doo. And I'll be letting you know that by the end of this video. But why should you listen to me? Well, I consistently get rank one and rank two in FUD Champion. I was also top 2% in the elite division. So I believe I can help recommend you the best cards to use to help perform the best for you to get more wins and cards to enjoy. So first, we're going to talk about Alexander Arnold stats and abilities from pace to physicality. Then we're going to talk about the best ways to use this card to help perform the best for you. But before we get into anything at all, be sure to follow the Twitch link in the description or link in the comments to join up in the live stream where I'll review cards live and also play for champion. And also, if you need for coins, be sure to use code CV3 on U7 buy for 6% off. Link in the description or link in the comment for cheap and safe coins so you can afford more expensive cards. So now, what about Alexander Arnold's pace? Now look, there's a difference between pace without the ball and pace with the ball. Now for me using this card, I ain't gonna lie. When I had him with the ball holding R1, he was dribbling like a madman with pace, like he was moving fast with the ball. And if you sprint with him, he has pretty good pace. I'm not gonna lie to you. But there were times when I was using this card, especially when I was going against Luis Diaz, Luis Diaz, that dude was burning him, bodying him as well. Weak puss in boots could not body off Luis Diaz. I don't know if any other winger is like Luis Diaz because that guy causes issues. But against Alexander Arnold, he was cooking him, bodying him, and outpacing him for sure, for sure. Alexander Arnold has quick step, but no rapid, which I think is very useful as a right back. I used him in the right back and the Santo mid position in this review. So I'll let you know which one is still the best for him to be. Now let's talk about his dribbling ability. Now this is the type of right back I like. Tremendous boost and great dribbling. He has responsive dribbling. He can get around players, twist and turn. And I like that for a right back. Some right back can't do it at all and get the ball taken easily. He was nice with the dribbling. I'm not gonna lie to you. Same thing with him in the Santo mid position. Now his shooting ability is not really the best, but he's a right back mainly, but he can still play Santo mid. If you're in the box with him and you green time, I believe it's perfect. It will go in the back of the net, right? I've gotten one power shot. And if you do that green time as well, he will score because he has good enough shot power. 99. So now his defensive capabilities. This is very important. Now him in the midfield, there were plenty, plenty of times. I ain't gonna lie. He was definitely making errors. Like I would tackle it and the ball would bounce and it wouldn't go to him. He would get Meg sometimes. The tackling wasn't the most favorable because he doesn't even have anticipate regular, regular, don't call my cell either, And he doesn't have anticipate plus. So I felt it with this card, with this tackling ability, it wasn't the best, especially in the midfield where you need the tacklers to be a little bit better. Yes, with the right backs, but the right back kind of has backup with the center back sometimes. But in the midfield, it allows them to break through if you fill a tackle. Now his passing ability, <laughs> ah, wondrous. You hear me? He gets that passes with accuracy. Whip pass crosses, over the tops, everything was lovely for me at least. He was a dimer. I had no issues with that. But show, but show. Now his physicality. Now look, this is where I was like, damn. Maybe it was just that one winger he was going against. Luis Diaz, bro. Bodying him. I played against other wingers. He wasn't getting cooked that bad, but with Luis Diaz, it was bad. But he still can hold his own if you just position him better. You just have to realize that with that card, you have to think ahead of your defender. You can't rely on him to use physicality. And sometimes you won't always get the tackle perfect. So that's him with all of his stats. Now, the best ways to use this card. Now, I would say this. I really did like him in the right back position. Even though he failed some tackles sometimes, I love the way he could dribble and allow you to create attacking opportunities because he's able to get around the left winger that's defending him. And he could burst out into pace and make a beautiful over the top through ball into one of your attackers. That's what I liked about him in the, in the right back position. But in the Santander mid position, I felt like his defensive capability, he didn't really have that presence, that, that big body presence. You get me? So for me, I wouldn't play him in the Santander mid position. I would play him in the right back position for sure. So I say you play him in the right back position. Obviously, use that dribbling ability to get past your defense. Use those over the tops to get it into one of your attackers. His driven passes, everything will be accurate, which is very useful for a right back. Defensively, I say use that jockey ability he has because he has jockey regular, regular, don't call my cellular. So he can still defend that way, but you have to be more timely with your tackle. But there were times where you could see, oh, there's no anticipate there. I'm not going to say his tackles were complete doo-doo with the name on it. And there's sometimes while I was defending them, I'm like, oh, this is a beauty. That was some good day fit. But what would I classify? Alexander Arnold. Is he wondrous, mid, or doo-doo? Now, for me, using this card in the center mid position where I was using him, he was teetering between midris and mid. But then I got to using him. He was diming. It's only the tackling ability that kind of annoyed me. And his presence, even though he has intercept plus, I didn't feel his presence like that. But I would put him at midris in the center mid position. As a right back, I got to put him at one. I ain't gonna lie, because he was still a great right back. He was very fast. I think his only problem was Luis Diaz. Most other players can't really get past it. So I still think it's a very solid card to pick up as your right back. Try him out. See how he performs for you. But I also reviewed Rasmus Hoytland right here. Find out if he's wondrous mid or doo-doo. And I also played the most toxic player in FC24. Find out what happened there. It was crazy. Adios.